Well, the Senate is recessed for another 90 minutes, but once they uh, get back into the chamber, the big topic on the table tonight, it is sports betting. Not only would it legalize wagering, money from it would create a fund to attract pro sports teams to Kansas. I want to bring in KSN's Brett Boganski tonight. Brett, you've been following this all day. This bill could clear a major hurdle here in the next few hours. Yeah, certainly that's the case. So this bill passed the House less than two hours ago, and it's just one vote away from going to Governor Laura Kelly's desk. And very apropos, on the night of the NFL draft where teams gamble to make their futures better, Kansas is also gambling in more ways than one. I think it's fine to take the risk that they're taking. The man behind the Arrowhead Express took a risk buying this old school bus. Go Chiefs! Entering it into the ultimate Chiefs experience to Arrowhead. We would roll the dice on it again, I'm sure. The sports gambling bill has a provision that appropriates 80% of the gambling revenue to the Attracting Professional Sports to Kansas Fund to potentially persuade a professional sports team like the Kansas City Chiefs to Kansas. The notion of the chief stadium plan is, again, pardon my disdain, but it's literally ridiculous. A ridiculous thing to gamble on for some. For others, it's a sure thing. It's a lot of money. Around $50 million a year we could get to the state general fund. Some feel the bet is too risky. You clearly don't know any addicts. You've clearly never met an addict if you think those folks have a choice. For Chiefs fans like Steve Crum, I think, I think if you could get a professional sports team here, it would be an economic boom. And we'll still be watching this and speaking with Senator Olson. He feels the votes are here for this bill to pass and then head on over to the governor's desk here for you. Rep. Gansky, KSN News 3.